what's up guys welcome back to the channel so my primary television of choice is the samsung q70t it is a qled tv 4k goes up to 120 hertz if you haven't seen i made a review of it check it out on my channel so now this television is fantastic when it comes to general use movies netflix television shows but primarily what i use this television for is for gaming and what I primarily game on is the PlayStation 5. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly talk a little bit about how the television performs, how the games look, how the games perform, and what is my overall experience with using the PlayStation 5 with the Samsung Q70T. So right off the bat, what needs to be known is that this television actually has four HDMI ports. Only the last HDMI port number four is the one that is actually capable of performing up to 120 hertz. Now at this time, that's not a big deal because there's very few limited games that can actually go up to 120 hertz. That is the promise of the current gen, but you know it's hard to say if we're actually ever gonna achieve that. So for me, I'm more of a resolution person. I care more about resolution, less about frame rate. But nonetheless, the television is a 4K up to 120 hertz display as long as you're hooked up to HDMI port number four and then as long as you enable game mode. So what's fantastic about the television is that as soon as you turn on the PlayStation 5, the TV automatically detects that you have a gaming console plugged in and the TV will automatically adjust and go into game mode. So currently, what am I gaming? I had a few PlayStation 5 games such as Hitman 3, I had Call of Duty Cold War, I sold majority of my games. At this time actually what I'm doing is I'm playing a lot of PlayStation 4 games that have been up upscaled for the PlayStation 5. Some of these games have specifically been upscaled and other games they just perform better because of the SSD, because of the increased power, the game loading times are better, the frame rate is more smooth, the resolution is actually more crisp and it stays locked at its resolution. So overall the experience I'm just enjoying it way more. Now in terms of the television, the television handles everything beautifully. Let's start off with the audio. I don't use a soundbar, I actually use the native speakers that come with the television and I am actually shocked at sometimes. Some of the detail that you're able to hear off of these speakers, it's fantastic and I actually have no complaints. Picture quality, like I said, this is a QLED 4K display and actually the display is fantastic. The darks get really dark. This is a VA panel. So because of that, the darks get really dark. So we have a very nice contrast ratio. That, mean, that means that even HDR content looks really nice. The brightness is, is nice and bright. So we get nice peaks when we talk about HDR. And because of that, and because the contrast ratio is so good, the darks get really dark and the brights get really bright. And that's basically what you need for a fantastic picture. Games such as Arkham Knight, one of the games that I'm playing right now, I played it back in the day, but I haven't played it since then. Looks fantastic, runs fantastic, so smooth and overall I'm enjoying the experience. But more than Arkham Knight, one of the games that really showed me the potential of this television, God of War. This game really surprised me. It looks so good on the PlayStation 5, virtually no load times. We have everything being shot in like a single frame. The graphics look fantastic, the gameplay is so smooth. This is really the way that the game was meant to be played. Now we have Ghost of Shishima. And this game, I mean, what more can be said? It's basically Assassin's Creed in a samurai setting, but everything is just done virtually to perfection. This game is optimized for the PlayStation 5 and honestly already had such a cinematic look, but with this television and the optimizations for the PlayStation 5, everything overall just looks fantastic. It's crazy to say, but I have a console that's very difficult to get. It's not cheap, it's pretty pricey. I own zero PlayStation 5 games and really it it really has brought life back into so many of my PlayStation 4 games. I'm getting so much enjoyment just seeing my PlayStation 4 games playing on the PlayStation 5. Overall, the experience with the controller, everything has just been such a nice experience, but really what optimizes the experience is having the right television because I'm able to take advantage of HDR, because I'm able to have nice, smooth frame rate, it just makes the entire gaming experience so much better. I genuinely have zero complaints of this TV. I did mention in my review that I don't like the build quality, but once you get over it, once you've set up the TV, you really don't bother about the build quality. The remote, the audio, the panel, the resolution, the HDR, the brightness, everything is fantastic and it's the perfect complement to the PlayStation 5. So there we have it. If you like content like this, don't forget to leave me a like, maybe even subscribe, 
and for more content coming soon. Until next time.